Yes, he is. Anyway, we have more news. Uh, a few weeks ago, I held a small birthday party for the E-Type Jaguar. Yes, I recall. It was subtle. <laughs> Somebody else is having one uh, at Silverstone uh, uh, the weekend of July the 22nd, and they say a thousand E-Types will be there. I think what they mean is a thousand E-Types will attempt to be there. Yeah. yeah. On that particular day, a thousand E-Types will try and start. Yeah. Some <laughs> E-Types will be there. Maybe. Why will they be there, though, really? I I've never understood that. So you drive hundreds of miles in your car to look at some cars that are exactly the same as the car that you just drove there in. Did, did, well, is there anyone here from a car owner's club? You are? And, and this is which club? Marlin. The what? Marlin. That's Marlin. Marlin. That's a fish. That's a very lonely... <laughs> no, it's a very lonely owner's club. That He goes and stands in a field all by himself. <laughs> is anybody here from a car club that's got more than one member? What? Renault Clio Owners Club. How can there be an owners club for that? Do you go and meet and stand in fields? Car parks. Car parks. Oh, well, I want to join. Well, I've got a Renault I'm Clio. So have I. <laughs> Any other car, car makers car here? Anyone from the MG Owners Club? Well, not here, obviously. No, obviously, <laughs> that's a good point. They won't be here. They'll be on the A3 going, oh, no. <laughs> I wonder, sometimes, do people who are MG enthusiasts buy them hoping they break down. They do, don't they? They, they think, do, that way I can get underneath it and get my fingernails all dirty. Well, no, because if you think, if all they wanted to do was drive around in an open-top two-seater, they'd buy a Mazda MX-5, because mm. that just is always going to work. Exactly. I think they're mad. It's like being an amateur vet and saying, I'm going to deliberately buy a dog that's poorly in the hope it goes wrong and I can fix it. <laughs> And we've actually been joined tonight by several members of the Ford RS Owners Club. Here they are. <laughs> and let, now, let me give you a flavour of the kind of people who drive RS Fords, OK? Your name is... Lee. Lee, OK? Now, standing at the back there, we've got Wayne, OK? Now, Wayne's girlfriend... Anyone want to hazard a guess what Wayne's girlfriend... <laughs> Tracy! Yay! Natalie Bennett from the Green Party. Oh, uh, Lamborghini LM002. <laughs> <laughs> you just got a picture of one of those, I think, somewhere. Yes, there it is. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. You think that the Green Party boss drives that? Yeah, does You're she? absolutely right. Am I? Yes, she doesn't. Oh. <laughs> no, she doesn't have one of those, weirdly. She doesn't own a car, but she is a member of a car club. Is it the Dodge Charger Owners Club? <laughs> <laughs> weirdly, James, it isn't. Do they do track days? <laughs> News. Now, a lot of people are very angry that Jeremy and I may have accidentally set fire to a Morris Marina that we bought last week. Yeah, we've, uh, we've got a shot of it here, look, actually on fire. Now, this has, <laughs> this has enraged the Morris Marina Owners Club. The what? Morris Marina Owners Club. <laughs> Ever heard of an organisation you want to be a member of less than that? <laughs> what I've got here are some of the things they've been saying on the Morris Marina Owners Club website. <laughs> Top Gear can eat <laughs> and die. Strong. Clarkson and his cronies should be hung, drawn and quartered, or is that too good for them? Should be two T double O, just small boy. <laughs> this just goes on and on. I, this is one of my favourites. I will send the BBC an email and I don't care if they don't read it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have. They really are very, very angry, aren't they? Can I just say, we, joking aside, we don't like to upset any member of our audience, no matter how mad they might be. Okay? <laughs> so we undertake never to destroy another Morris Marina as long as we are on the air. And, and in fact, we've gone one better than that because just this week we have been out and we have bought another Marina, okay? And um, it's a beauty. It really is, absolutely. Low mileage, leather seat. No, there's no woo about it, leather seats. <laughs> We brought it down, we've got it here, look, this is live feed out to our track, and that is going to be preserved as an example of what... Oh, God! God! <laughs> oh, no. Somebody's dressed... I oh, know. Get on it. How this unlucky is... was that? This is happening all the time. <laughs> it's always happening at our track. It rains pianos yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> You know what it is? It's that new helicopter piano removal company that moved in next door. Careless Airways. Yeah, they're, they're rubbish. Yeah, slapdash services. Oops. They've just dropped another... Oh, God, now what? We'll have to get another one. <laughs> uh, now, look, I want, to, uh, I want to talk about the new Ferrari. California, here it is. 
And that, I think, is the first Ferrari ever with a front-mounted V8 You engine. think? Yeah. We don't want to say that sort of thing in public. You'll have the Ferrari Owners Club coming round to your house in their Mondials. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. So-called Celebrity, so-called May. Surely you remember the B3684 stroke B from 1956. They will, mate. Ooh, they're an adenoidal bunch of they angry will. young men. None of them are... Mostly angry because they haven't actually got Ferraris. Precisely <laughs> right. I've got a polo shirt with Ferrari on it. No, I'm going to say that that is the first Ferrari in the company's history with a front-mounted V8. That's brave, brave, brave thing to say. I'm going to say... Now, last week, a piano was accidentally dropped on a Morris Marina as we were filming it. <laughs> yeah, now, last time this happened, the Morris Marina Owners Club, uh, which is like the provisional wing of the Morris Men, were <laughs> absolutely <laughs> furious. They went yeah, they were. Actually, yeah. there's, uh, there's been a lot of internet activity on the Morris chat room. I'm going to send an email to the BBC, and I don't care if they don't read it. <laughs> Now, that's what they said last time, OK? This time, getting worse. They said they're going to get physical. <laughs> I'm quoting now. One of them says, and I'm not making this up, if I see Jeremy Clarkson in the street, I will poo into my hand and throw it at him. <laughs> well, they'll poo into their own yes. hands. <laughs> that's a stupid way of getting someone. It's like an assassin lining up on the target and shooting them through his own head. <laughs> 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 Now, the thing is, OK, last week when we were making the film, you probably saw, OK, out in France, there was some doubt as to who actually owned the car that you ended up driving. Was it the wife of the president of the Morris Marina Owners Club or was it the wife of the president of France, who, of course, is Carla Bruni? Well, that was cleared up this week because Carla Bruni went to uh, Nelson Mandela's birthday party in New York where she sang a song which clears everything up. Le temps s'est arrêté, les heures sont valages. Les minutes frissonnent, l'ennui fait naufrage. Il semble que mes bras soient devenus des ailes, que chaque instant qui vole, je puisse toucher le ciel. Que chaque instant qui vole, je puisse manger le ciel. Car je suis là, amoureuse. Now we know. Your history. Of course, you're a member of a great many classic car clubs, as I understand. Let's see now. Well, the E-Type Club, of course, the Jag there, mm -hmm. you know, Philip Porter, fantastic club. That, the Rolls-Royce Enthusiast, uh, the Bentley Drivers Club, it's very good for uh, spare parts. And you can get a Bentley Drivers Club dressing gown, <laughs> which you can only... You get a Porsche pipe. <laughs> yeah, that Porsche pipe, exactly. <laughs> only recognisable by another Bentley Drivers Club person if you're in dressing gowns together. <laughs> That's a real worry now, you just said that. But I must introduce you, must come out with us one evening <laughs> on the one of our, our knockings and matters and cheese niblet evenings we have. Anyway, listen, there was the 260Z, which was plump, the 280Z, which was John Prescott, and then <laughs> finally they ended up with this enormous thing, the 300ZX. Marlon Brando, really. The horror. <laughs> the horror. And I believe we've been joined here by some people from the Nissan Z Club, yes? Yes. Which is yours? The 280. And what in the name of all that's holy possessed you to buy that? <laughs> I bought it 15 years ago and it looked good then. It didn't look good, it's beige with red seats. <laughs> Are you from Birmingham? Yes, how did you guess? Oh, it explains it all. <laughs> and you've got one as well? I have so, yeah. And you've got a beard? And you're from the Z Club? Yes, indeed. And you've got a beard. There, that explains <laughs> the, the, uh, the Z car. Ha People. Because this is what worries me. I once made the mistake of engaging an Aston Martin mm. owner. Mm. They're mm. the worst. Never engage an Aston Martin owner's club person in conversation because <laughs> they don't talk in models, they talk in chassis numbers. Oh, dear. Oh, I see he's got... And it was an adenoid problem. They all talk like John Major. I've had a remarkable experience in that <laughs> accident. <laughs> Isn't but, it great? Because before John Major turned up on the scene, everyone's Wally voice was John Major's. Oh, I've got horrendous trouble with my gearbox. And then this man arrived as Prime Minister. He said, hello, I'm going to run the country for the next six years. And it was the Wally voice from your childhood. <laughs> yes. But they still, the Wally voice still exists, I think, in any classic car environment. Mm. Oh, I know you're on it, because sometimes we, we actually choose the co-driver out of a hat, and I know that's your idea of hell. But it's quite nice, because you get you it... What? No, I didn't... What, what, you do what? You choose the co-driver's name out of a hat. So you could end up with friendly men with beard? You could, absolutely. <laughs> but you, more often than not, you end up with friendly man with beard's wife, which is actually quite fun. Also with beard. <laughs> <laughs> but laughing at each other was not a scientific measure. 
Our efforts had to be judged by the chairman of the judges of the famously fastidious Porsche Owners Club of Great Britain. Good morning, gentlemen. May, M-A-Y. M-A-Y. And the registration, please, Mr May. Don't know. Could you uh, open the tailgate for me? Is that possible? Well, I'll have a go. Yes. Don't break it. The original door pull was missing from the car, and it's a very, very difficult component to get hold of these days, so I substituted the the kitchen unit uh, drop handle. And that, as you can see from the shape, is the rear windscreen wiper. Mm. It's just it all looks like Tipex to me. And, uh, yeah, that's well, I think that's because it is Tipex. Oh, really? And now for the big moment. Come and see this, gentlemen. James's sparkling engine bay. Very good all job. original fittings. All original, simply cleaned and polished. No fancy tricks, just elbow grease. That's what we like to see. I'm a bit worried about the originality of the colour. No, it's not an original colour. Have you ever seen the Blackbird, the SR71? Yes, yep. There you go. <laughs> so not original, better. Can we just have a peek? Can you just flick the bonnet up for us? Thank you. There you go. Excuse me. Ah, that's my... yeah. That's rather bold. I think bling. I really can't give you many points for the seats. Because... But you can't knock many off, because there's nothing wrong with them if they're not... There. True. Original stickers. Yeah. Stickers are. Yes, they, they are. are real. Uh, are they? One point Quite for valuable. Then. Right. Probably the most valuable bit. Yes. Of the car. That's not real, obviously. <laughs> what does that do? Nothing. While the judges retired to do their scoring, we dived into the next challenge.